in order to come to some level of ease and peace with the idea of our own death, I believe we need to really see ourselves as more than this physical body, right? That there's there's something else there, whether we call that soul or self or spirit or essence or consciousness uh, or intuition. It's sort of an ineffable and eternal part of us. And deep time, the idea of a larger framework the widening of the lens beyond this particular incarnation is super helpful to help to assist us in relaxing, in relaxing to the cycles of life and death that play out not only in our lives, but that will be the big ultimate ending of this physical body. And I believe those strands of wisdom are woven woven throughout our lives and throughout our bodies. So when we get to a certain age, you know, after the young adult phase, we start to really settle into like, okay, there's cycles here. There's life, death, life cycles. There's beginnings and endings. There's, you know, expansion and contraction. And we start to learn to relax in those waves. And I believe the same can be true with our actual physical death. We can learn to relax into the idea of it and maybe even in, in relish it. Invite ourselves to consider the, the possibility of joy or even ecstasy in those experiences. And I think in order to do that, we really need to relax into something bigger. And what that is really is the mystery. Can we relax into the mystery? The idea that we're being guided, being guided into all these experiences, and death is another experience. Death and what's beyond death is the next thing for us. And however that lives in us, however that works for us, however that sort of settles in to a sweet spot in our understanding, in our heart, that gives us context in our lives, is really the source of ease and peace around it. I invite you to play with that. And please let me know how it lives for you. Because when we share these things, we expand our context and our literacy for what's possible.